Human trafficking is an act of receiving, recruiting, harboring, transporting humans for purposes of exploitation. Human trafficking is no respect of education status, is no respect of socioeconomic status. Many people think the poor get trafficked or the uneducated get trafficked. But I might say that one of the most defining things is desperation. When people are desperate for something better, for, for a dream, for a better job, for greener pastures, they're vulnerable to trafficking. Human trafficking is a growing epidemic in Uganda. We have seen a huge increase in the number of men and women being trafficked abroad. Many victims in Uganda are desperately seeking work, which leads them to be easily deceived or manipulated by traffickers who promise high salaries, lucrative jobs abroad, and an opportunity to lift themselves, their families, their children out of poverty. Victims are trafficked to many different countries for forced labor, sexual exploitation, and indentured servitude. Traffickers often ask for large sums of money for these jobs abroad, and victims end up paying thousands of dollars, which ends up entering them into a debt bondage. So after they're trafficked, they're never able to get out because their trafficker never allows them to pay off the debt that they owe. Here in Nepal, there is a lack of opportunity. A lot of young men and women choose to migrate abroad to countries like Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Oman, Lebanon, and also Malaysia to work. Because we have an open border with India, it's very easy for uh, Nepali people to go across to India. We see lots of layers of agents. Uh, we also see travel agencies that are operating in the destination countries being involved. What happens is that the agent goes to the villages and they find people who want to migrate abroad. There's an agent who takes them across the land border and then he organizes their papers like visas, passports, plane tickets, and then they send them to places like Dubai and to Kuwait. And then uh, from Kuwait and Dubai, they send them to countries like Saudi Arabia through the land border. In Qatar, the majority of workers are mainly recruited for the construction industry. These jobs range anywhere from laborers, to scaffolders, to bricklayers, domestic workers, drivers, gardeners. Life for workers in Qatar and the Gulf isn't ideal. They are an unseen group within society. They are placed in accommodations that are outside the city limits. They're not allowed to go into public spaces, go into public parks. They're not even allowed to go to public beaches. Thailand is actually a source country, a transit country, and a destination country for all forms of human trafficking. People from Myanmar, from Cambodia, from Laos, from Vietnam are trafficked onto fishing vessels where they are forced to work for sometimes years at sea without getting paid with ill treatment. In the center of Vietnam, uh, human trafficking is a very good business for the traffickers, and uh, the problem is in Vietnam, the money can be transferred from any country without any justification of where the money coming from. The victims we work with are trafficked by organized criminals. These are people who are connected and who are moving money and human beings from country to country. The bank have an important role to play because many money from European countries or maybe U.S. countries use the, the banking system for transfer of funds. The banking industry is extremely well known for its practices in fighting money laundering. There needs to be strong private collaboration between banks, law enforcement agencies, and civil society organizations. Everyone has a role to play in the fight against human trafficking. And we hope that the banking sector, as you participate in the awareness and just understanding what the crime is, that this work will help both victims of trafficking and people who could be trafficked. Hi, I'm Patricia Sullivan, 
the Europe and America's Head of Financial Crime Compliance at Standard Chartered Bank. Human trafficking is a silent crime and money laundering its silent partner. At Standard Chartered Bank, we're committed to effectively fighting financial crime and combating modern slavery and human trafficking. We encourage you to work with your trusted anti-human trafficking organizations on the ground and encourage your colleagues to understand what human trafficking is and be the eyes and ears on the ground to help identify potential victims of human trafficking. We hope that this session will help you and your financial institution understand that human trafficking is a predicate offense to money laundering and that we all have a role to play in combating this terrible crime. Thank you for your business and your partnership.